it's Nike V East for lovethattune.com with Urban Nerd. So uh, introduce yourselves, please. DJ Crest One. I'm Rats Rats. Dealer Man. <laughs> <laughs> and how did you guys get involved with Urban Nerd? Um, we started off right, when Urban Nerd started two years ago. Um, I approached uh, James, who runs it, um, on uh, MySpace and just got in contact with him and sent him a couple of mixes. And then gradually, as that progressed, kind of got close involved and then got Hiller involved um, about a year ago. Right? So, how does Urban Nerd compare to other nights that you play at in London and around the UK? I think it's just that, like, that epic of like music policy, which is the, the most, like, other nights in London before Urban Earth came about, there wasn't really anything doing that kind of ilk of, like, a, ba a big baseline headliner, a big dubstep headliner, a big drum and bass person, a big hip-hop person, all together in one place. So I think for that, for me, that was the most important thing, because of my style of DJing, and I was close to the same, we played so many different genres of music that it was like the perfect night for us to play at. Um, it was really our crowd already, do you, know, do you know what I mean, in terms of like, because we played such a diverse amount of music. Mm -hmm. I think probably this is the only place I've ever seen, like, been able to go and do like a four deck set that's not been like a bot or Yeah, yeah. And able to do like jungle, dubstep, garage, and pretty much any genre of music one yeah. over a four deck set. But like the crowd that they get down, is a complete, like, ready for any type of music. As long as it's big and bassy, they're up for it, you know what I mean? It's like most other nights, like, now there's, there's nights nice starting to catch on and copy the other nerds kind of style of doing it, but it's definitely the, the crowd that makes it, the people that they have, the fans that they, the fan base that they built is the most important thing, I think. Okay, yeah. so what would be the best venue, um, like, with Urban Nerds, like, where is Urban Nerds the best? I think here, it just because it feels like home at night through the East, it actually feels like that home and you come here and you instantly know everybody. It's like a, like a massive family, the, the, like the people who come, you know, if you come the first time, you know that that person's going to come back. I doubt anybody comes to another nurse night and goes, this is rubbish. I think it's a lot more comfortable, like, being at the, the first place to be on the four deck set as well. Yeah, like, yeah. And the, four, the first time I did the four deck set, it went out so well. They feel comfortable with them, I can do it again. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's the only place we do have an answer as a whole. I mean, every other nerd is kind of hosting every other fabric or something where you lose. It's not just your club, you get your people from the left, the drum base, and stuff, and everybody's here. Like, everyone's here, just whatever nerd works with. Yeah. So, what about you, Edelman? How did you get involved with Urban Nerd? Um, I think it's just the first like, for about three, four years, I've been doing it on my Roughly thereabouts, so I was, um, basically I just finished recording a mixtape and the next show was up like, for the UK 14 and basically started working with my DJ and like what he done basically with mixed wise like he was in the sort of genre of music because I was and basically we worked up together and uh, yeah basically he got involved with Evan Nerds through Rad and obviously sort of boy all in and I ended up working with Rad and we played together with Unifer. Cool. And the next set was born. <laughs> so was that first four deck mix probably the biggest moment for you guys? Well that was the first time first me and Chloe properly played together out. Because um, we all played on that first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was it. Yeah. And that was like, because we, we met each other, but we kind of knew each other roughly from like mutual friends and stuff quite a long time, but then uh, we got booked for um, somebody's private party and played pretty much the same set. <laughs> <laughs> and at the same time, kind of urban nurse was a, 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 like about to do that DMC night, and it was all about you know turntables and stuff like that. So it, it made perfect sense for me to approach close and say, look, let's do a four deck thing uh, about urban nurse, and urban nurse were really keen because nobody really done anything like that with that genre of music. You know, scratch cover kind of. Touching it a bit. But that's what I like, killed it the most, like, is when I thought to myself, like, how the fuck are these guys going to, like, play, you know, like, dance music, jungle, and all that, like, together, you know, for a four deck set, like, together, like, mixing and, and yeah, just making it work, man, it's ridiculous, like, completely disgusting, like, the first, the third, yeah, the first, yeah, well, like, yeah. yeah, I thought you yeah, had words, like, it's just too much, like, it's, yeah, it's a lot. Cool, so which, um, 
producers at the moment or big tunes are the urban nerds residents promoting or, or kind of playing you know their tunes you know, what's your favourite producer at the moment would you say I mean, all the big names, all the big names, obviously, like, you know, you could sort of sit here and say, like, Rusko, Scream, you know, rah, 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 rah. but, I mean, for me, like, I've always played, like, quite a lot of baseball, which I think is one thing you don't, you know, particularly, like, play, and, like, Wiggy Boy, I, like, absolutely, I think anything that he does is amazing, and then in terms of, like, newer, like, dubstep people, Noises, Schism, and Rack and Ruin are all people that we're, like, really pushing, because, all of that tunes every time they send us a tune it's like yeah. unbelievable yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> cool um, so if you could say one tune at the moment that it gets the best reaction in the crowd what would it be? I mean, it's my turn. It's a difficult one because we've been playing stuff sort of multi drum and best, and yeah. it's like some crowds, I mean, you'll play like a big drum and bass tune, everyone goes mad, and other crowds, like, you'll play a big dubstep tune, or a big funk tune, or a big podcast tune, and they'll love that. Yeah. Yeah. Love that. So it's, it is kind of all different, so I'll still give you one of each genre almost to be like the. Now, what do you think, like, the sickest goal of mine has been, like, the sickest time you've been playing, and it's gone off the most of it? Probably the last four deck set, and then you probably have to say yeah. Screams the Room It, but uh, yeah. I don't know, it's been like, you know, that was, <laughs> it was quite a fabric when, um, it was, you know, it was that, the first, the first time we played. Yeah, we played a fabric. Yeah, yeah like, uh, like, oh, Easter Jam, like when you first dropped that, like, got rid of three times. Mm. Like, uh, back off. I think back off is like the one track, like, 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 track, like, yeah. yeah, which, like, nobody else is really playing, and we've had it for quite a while, and, and it that always goes yeah, off and it's fresh because I think it's all because I fucking love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that awesome. So I think it'd have to be that really. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That the mixes, the mixes are important to set as well. They're almost yeah. like a highlight in their own thing where it's like a double drop all that change the tune so it's like people Probably. like wait for the mix and that and know the mixes because yeah. they're on TVs and stuff like that. So yeah, definitely. So you've done an exclusive mix to love that tune. Um, <laughs> tell us a little bit about that mix. Just to uh, what you kind of wanted to do with it and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's recorded on four decks, but not sort of as intensely as maybe some of the other live shows is. But, yeah. I think, yeah, it's, it's like you can't really do a four deck thing on a mix CD because I think it's a bit too much, do you know what I mean? Live, you can get away with it because the system can handle it, but sort of so good, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like quite a, quite a relentless like mix. It's like you constantly pretty much hearing like three tracks going at the same time, and it goes through from like dubstep through to like funky house, through to bassline, through to electro. It's got a bit of everything that we play. So it's kind of a taste of what we play, and like a kind of showcase of what other nerds does at the night, I suppose as well. Yeah, it's a lot of double drops. Yeah, disgusting mixes. But yeah, wicked. All right, well, thank you very much for your time, interview. Do you want to just give a little plug for anything that you want to think about at the moment? I'm a massive, like, thank you to Autofon, um, who sponsor us and give us cartridges and stuff like that. Without them, like, we'd be falling apart. <laughs> we break needles constantly. Um, uh, Urban Nerds, obviously, ATG, um, uh, which is close to the resident of... Um, uh, not ATG. <laughs> and like all, all of the other DJs and all the other producers that send the tune and things like that. But any tune that we play. Yeah, anyone who made a tune. Nice one. Alright, well thank you very much. Cool, sweet. You're in tune to lovethattune.com.